talk about past lives from the perspective of ESP research that Jose Silva has done and other people as well. And I'll give you my input from my experience that I've had with um, past life or age regression. The question is uh, not whether they exist or not, but what, what are past lives actually and what we are perceiving. So there, there have been lots of people that have studied and researched past lives and how do they research them? They take subjects, 30, 50, Jose Silva uh, took 36 subjects to study past lives. Um, and over time, they uh, map their experiences. So when he started uh, doing his research, he looked at the research or compared his own results with the results of a UK researcher in this sphere called Alexander Cannon. And Alexander Cannon said that his research shows that the soul incarnates six times in a female, as a female experience, six times um, as a male. And in between each incarnation, there's a three-year gap, which he calls the garden of waiting, in which the soul awaits for the new incarnation and then decides where to incarnate and so on. And he describes that his research subjects all uh, reported of this garden of waiting to be a very green, luscious uh, place, very peaceful, uh, and with a very specific type of music, very divine music in a way. Now, Jose Silva said that never throughout his research, he, his subjects never experienced this. He, on the contrary, said that all of his subjects incarnated as the same gender. So there was never a change in gender. And they also um, uh, reported the same three-year gap before incarnations, but there was no, um, no garden, no special sounds, just the, the feeling of complete unity and bliss. And later on, he, by the way, used this specific moment of age um, regression, as he calls it. He called it age regression and rather than reincarnation regression. So he used these specific moments in between the lifetimes to project in the future, to be able to foretell. Apparently, this um, period of no, no experience, no human experience, has a very potent clairvoyant uh, potential. So he, I'm talking about Jose Silva, had um, described three possibilities of what reincarnation actually is. And I'm going to offer you a fourth one that I have come to believe with uh, from my experience. Um, and it could be any of these. And it could be a mixture of these. So the first reincarnation is the traditional one. The first type of reincarnation. This is that everybody goes um, through a series of past lives. And when we age regress, we go to a past life we, where we've experienced a certain thing. This is what... Uh, is the is the common perception of past lives. Now there is a different um, interpretation of past lives, which Jose Silva also documents, which is the genealogical past life that the information is anyhow transferred to us um, via our genes that are like a recording tape. They they carry magnetic information. We all know that the genes can carry information. So the genes have recorded all the past lives of our ancestors. And when we believe that we experience a past life, we actually experience through the eyes of one of our ancestors and we identify as them. This is the genealogical line. There's a third option, according to Jose Silva, uh, which is, that um, because of our ESP abilities, emotional sensory projection, we can very much identify with somebody else. We can copy the information from the field and identify with this person. We can experience what they've experienced. We, we can feel what they felt. This is emotional sensory projection. 
So we can step into the experience of practically anybody. This is done with the silver method easily. I've practiced it also in my groups. So this is a possibility. And this, by the way, would explain why so many people believe they have reincarnated, they're the reincarnate Jesus or the reincarnate um, Cleopatra. I mean, there are so many Jesuses and Cleopatras on this earth. You know, psychologists classify them as um, as um, having psychological problems. But as a matter of fact, this is purely tapping into the recorded information of the field. This is our ESP ability. And now I have another theory that I have observed and it makes a lot of sense to me. I'm going to share it with you. Let me know what you think about it. I have experienced uh, and also with, with clients that whenever the person is dealing with some sort of a problem in their current life with a certain player, when they are regressed in the past, their mind creates a very similar, uh, very similar situation with the same player. Of course, the, um, the environment is different, the setup is different, the situation is different, but it uh, plays out as the same model. Like it gives you an insight of what is actually happening in the current life as well. See, the mind is like a search engine. You give it the, in alpha, not generally speaking. So you give it um, the seek function and it goes finds and, and finds a solution. So when you regress, it knows what problem you're working on or what, you, what, what you've just discussed. So it's fed with the search term and it starts developing a solution. And just like in dreams, we were very often given answers. Answers by our unconscious mind. It creates a past life that we believe so much in because we experience it with ESP again, that we believe that it's actually a past life while it's actually another recreated version of our current reality that gives us the solution. It gives us the answer. It's just incredible. Let me know if you've experienced something like this and what your thoughts are on past lives um, in general. So um, you may have heard or you may have read that I'm offering a different, different than the silver method methodology for clearing traumas. Because if you think about uh, why people go to regressions, it is to solve a problem, to clear out trauma or to do something like that. Otherwise... Why would you go and, and search for a past life if you don't want to get some benefit in the current life? So I'm offering a session that is a mixture between the silver method and another uh, system developed by uh, Ted James called timeline therapy. And in timeline therapy, the interesting thing is that if um, trauma or a limiting belief is created uh, before your birth. It could be created after birth uh, as well. But if it's created before your birth, you can ask your subconscious mind whether it was created genealogically or in a past life. And again, these definitions are a decision of your mind at the moment. It could be both. It could be any of this. You see, our reality is so malleable. And we believe that it is all... It, it is all in the past and it has happened and it's recorded. How about if we are creating it as we go for our needs, if we're really just creating it now as quantum, uh, quantum science states, that we are creating it right now. And, you know, the, the more I experience um, and, and contemplate about past experiences and with the clients that I've had with this method, uh, eliminating the big five uh, limiting emotions and the big five uh, limiting beliefs. It's called the big five. If you go and I'll put the link below if you're interested in such a session. I And when people share, I see that it is really about solving their current problem with a picture they that their subconscious mind creates that can provide this solution. So as Jose Silva says, we live 
to fulfill our lives by giving a certain service and by solving problems, the problems for, of others and our own problems. But um, there are a few purposes in life for which we'll talk probably this week. Um, and one of them is to solve problems. And this is one of the ways we can solve our problems, to find creative solutions that we are not able to find unless we have such a detailed insight coming all at once in the form of an insight about a past life or um, a genealogical happening that happened you know, uh, down your family line. Okay, if you're interested to learn the Silva method through my lens, I've been teaching this method for quite a while. The latest title has been the Heal and Learn method, but before that it was called the other 96%. I'm gonna be starting um, a new series of the Heal and Learn method that is five weeks long with one session a week, usually on Saturday or Sunday. And uh, this is also going to be, um, I'm going to include the Heal and Learn method as a part of my coaching uh, group coaching program, Awakened Mind for Business Success. So if you want to know more about the program, the link will also be below. It will include the, re the majority of my recorded courses and it will also include participation in the live course, the Heal and Learn Method. Of course, you can decide to join the Heal and Learn Method alone. It will The next starting date will be the 5th of May. I'd be happy to welcome you there. Thank you very much for watching. And again, let me know in the comments what your experience is with um, regression, past life regression, what you think of it, what you believe about it. Thank you for watching.